It's time to start the last talk of the morning session, and it's my pleasure to introduce Nicodemo Massimo De Vito, who will speak about hierarchies of lexicographic beliefs. Please. Thanks for the opportunity of uh, talking about and thinking about this paper. Um, as the title indicates, uh, hierarchies uh, we here in this paper uh, um, deals with uh, the representation and the analysis of uh, hierarchies of beliefs when beliefs uh, do not take the convenient form of a single probability uh, measure. Basically, when players are not uh, do not conform to the subjective aspect of the cri uh, utility criterion. Um, um, the analysis uh, of uh, this uh, and the results of this paper are then applied uh, in a companion paper, uh, which was pre the presentation of which was uh, provided last year, uh, last year here uh, by my co-author Emiliano Catonini, concerning uh, um, the, 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 the epistemic justification and so the use of hierarchies of lexicographic beliefs, uh, epistemic justification of iterated admissibility in games. Um, to begin with, uh, uh, and to understand the motivation underlying this, uh, this paper, um, we uh, recall the notion of hierarchies of beliefs which uh, ar arise naturally in uh, uh, strategic interaction in dynamic settings. Um, suppose we, are, uh, we have a game. Here we consider finite games, simultaneous move games, in which there is a perfect information, but uh, the analysis uh, carried out uh, here in, this perf in the perfect information uh, uh, setting can also be replicated to take into account for incomplete information. So basically, here, uh, complete, information. Complete, informi complete information, yes. Um, um, but the analysis, of course, can be carried out to take into account for, uh, um, uh, for incomplete information settings. In particular, here we are mainly concerned with the strategic uncertainty. That is, uh, uncertainty about the play of the game. Uh, suppose that we have this uh, game. So in, in each game, each player uh, is uncertain about the strategy profile of the co-player. So player I will base his or optimal choice on the strategy, uh, will choose uh, a strategy, and this choice will be based on his objective beliefs on the strategy, on the action chooses, chosen by uh, the co-players. These are called the first order beliefs. Of course, this does not exhaust all the strategic uncertainty uh, in, uh, in this game, because of course the choices of the co-players are also based on uh, uh, on their first order belief, and this, uh, of course, uh, um, their choice uh, is important for the, for the evaluation of uh, optimal choice of player I. So, player I will be based his choice of a strategy on his subjective beliefs on the first order beliefs of the co-players. These are called second order beliefs. Of course, this argument can be iterated further, and uh, this leads to uh, the analysis of uh, infinite hierarchies of beliefs. Of course, if we describe uh, um, explicitly infinite hierarchies of beliefs uh, and we want to model a situation like this, the, the explicit description is uh, highly complicated and uh, sometimes cumbersome to handle. So, in um, an attempt to provide a tractable representation of infinite hierarchies of beliefs, Arsani introduced the notion of uh, here uh, I use the, uh, the qualifying adjective probabilistic, and the reason will be explained later, but type structure for sure, which, is, uh, uh, a com which provides a convenient way to describe a higher order uncertainty in games. A type structure is that tuple, uh, tuple where each ti is uh, a set of types, the set uh, um, of types also here called uh, type space. And uh, with uh, each uh, element of the type space is associated with a probability measure. There, as you can see, calligraphic M stands for the, uh, in this talk, uh, calligraphic M stands for the set of uh, uh, probability measure. Here, probability, of course, are uh, uh, assumed to be um, sigma additive on a Borel sigma field, because, of course, uh, or a sigma algebra of events on the product space of the, of the strategy of the opponent S minus I, and the types of the other players. Um, this um, single probability measure 
um, summarize uh, hierarchies of probabilistic beliefs. Uh, the approach uh, uh, by Arsani is implicit in the sense that it does not describe uh, hierarchies of beliefs directly. But, and we will see an example for the case of lexicographic beliefs, uh, it is possible, uh, given the circularity feature of uh, the type structure, to provide uh, a well-defined map which describes the first order belief, uh, the, that is the beliefs about uh, um, the strategy uh, set of the opponents, the second order belief, uh, the third order belief, and so on. The, this formalism carries no loss of generality in the following sense, in the sense that uh, if we begin by describing the set of hierarchies of beliefs, which are collectively coherent, I will be more explicit uh, uh, about uh, the meaning of this uh, uh, in a moment. And, uh, in uh, and we restrict attention to this set of collectively coherent hierarchies of beliefs. Then this set can be endowed with the, the structure of a probabilistic type structure. So, in a sense, this, uh, um, uh, this type of structure is uh, dubbed canonical, and it satisfies a so-called universal property, which means basically that every other type of structure can be embedded by a map called type morphism, type morphism in a unique way. This was done first by uh, Merton and Samir, and then there, there has been uh, other generalization, uh, like, uh, for instance, uh, such as Brandenburger and Deckel, Heifetz, Merton, sorry, sorry, and Samir, uh, just to mention the most important one. But of course, also other, are, um, other contribution are uh, still available. Here, of course, in this probabilistic type structure, players are assumed to be um, subjective as petty utility maximizers, and there is a common belief of that fact. But standard probabilities, uh, and we will see an example, are insufficient to, to sometimes describe a situation like uh, uh, rationality, um, which, uh, where rationality incorporates uh, an admissibility requirements, that is to say, avoidance of weakly dominated, uh, ration, uh, weakly dominated strategies. Um, a strategy, um, okay, let me first say that uh, since here we, are, uh, we, we, we deal with the uh, complete information game, the only uncertainty, as I told you before, is only about strategic uncertainty, so the, um, uncertainty about the play of the game. This enables us to uh, describe, by means of type uh, structure, the set of states in which, uh, and to talk about uh, uh, rationality and or irrationality of the uh, player. To, to see the significance of the fact that the standard probability are insufficient, uh, let's uh, uh, consider a situation in which uh, the players uh, um, conform to a rationality requirement uh, uh, incorporating admissibility. This is the standard uh, even definition, a strategy is admissible, there is uh, not uh, weakly dominated, if and only if there is a, a strictly positive probability measure on the strategy profile of the other players. And uh, of course, this uh, probability measure um, the, the, um, this strategy is optimal under, is a best reply under this probability measure. We have this game here, two player games. Uh, forget for a moment the, uh, the, the simple CR1 and one in the brackets, then I will, I will, uh, 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 I will give you an explanation on the meaning of that. Um, two, two players, N and Bob, uh, two actions, uh, up and down for N and uh, uh, left and right for Bob. If uh, N and Bob, uh, uh, as you can see here, N has uh, undominated strategies, whereas Bob, uh, action L, weakly dominates action R. If uh, N and Bob conform to the uh, rationality requirement incorporating admissibility, then N should assign positive probability, so she is cautious, to both um, the strategy L and R played by Bob. And uh, the same is true for Bob. Of course, uh, if we, we require that Bob is rational and cautious, then of course we will play L. Just because, of course, uh, if we take the point of view that uh, mm, Bob does not play uh, weakly dominated strategy, as you can see, um, action R is weakly dominated by 
out. But now, suppose that we want to model the idea that uh, an n thinks, uh, here I use the word thinks uh, um, in a rather informal sense. Let me, um, okay, now thinks, then I will, um, I will explain why uh, there is uh, this word here, thinks in quotes. Suppose that an and thinks that Bob is rational and cautious, so he will not play Bob strategy R. But then, if uh, Bob will not play strategy I, should uh, N not assign probability 1 to L, L if uh, N is a subjective expected yield maximizer? And so the word that thinks here is replaced by probability 1 belief. As you can see here, this argument uh, suggests that there is a tension between being rational and thinking that the other players are rational as well, when rationality incorporates admissibility. A tension which, of course, and a contradiction which emerges if N is supposed to be um, subjective as petty utility. And so the word thinks here is uh, uh, replaced by uh, probability one belief. This tension to Solve this tension between uh, uh, being uh, cautiously rational and thinking that the other um, players are uh, uh, cautiously rational as well. Uh, this tension can be solved by uh, uh, postulating that N has a lexicographic probability system. A lexicographic probability system is a finite vector of probability, um, which were uh, given an axiomatic treatment by Bloom, Brandenburg, and Deckel. Um, the axiomatic treatment works in that way, uh, in the sense that um, you have a decision, an axiomatic treatment in terms of a preference-based uh, preference uh, uh, treatment, works in that way. Um, we have the set of uh, axioma la Anscombe Baumann. The main difference here is that the Archimedean axiom, that is uh, the, mm, the continuity here, is uh, weakened. But of course, this weakening, this weakening is not total in the sense that uh, uh, there is a continuity from the uh, side of a representation of a, mm, utility function. And so, uh, preferences are described by a single uh, utility function. But there is this continuity from the point of view of uh, the representation of uh, subjective probability. And so you have, in that case, a vector of uh, uh, subjective probability. We do not discuss uh, the, um, the axiom of uh, uh, Bloomberg and the Burger Douglas Furter, and we take it for granted. The basic idea of a lexicographic probability system of N is that the first vector is a vector here uh, for uh, this. Uh, uh, for this specific game, in which the primary theory, the first probability, assign probability 1 to rational strategy L of Bob. And so N first ranked the strategy using uh, mu 1. The secondary theory of N assign probability 1 to R. The idea is that uh, N deems uh, uh, action L infin of Bob infinitely more likely than R. And this solved the so-called inclusion-exclusion problem, uh, which was outlined by uh, Brandenburger, Friedman, Kiesler, um, and which says that we allow N at the same time both to include and to exclude the strategy of Bob. And the Bob strategy and the, the R that receive a Prob uh, here, sorry for the sloppy notation here, but Bob strategy is that to receive uh, positive probability on the first measure are considered infinitely more likely than Bob strategy that, that receive uh, positive probability under the second measure. Okay, more formally, just um, let me just provide the notation that will be used. Uh, I will be using uh, for the um, for the representation results. Um, this is uh, uh, more or less uh, the, the formal definition of a lexicographic probability system. We start with uh, uh, a well-defined space, in this case, uh, for instance, a metrizable losing. There is a standard Borel, Polish space, if you wish. The space here, of course, can be, um, could be also finite as, uh, for instance, the, um, for instance the, uh, the strategy set of the opponent. We endow the set uh, of prob Borel probability measure, uh, capital graphic M with the weak star topology, which makes it a losing space. We denote by calligraphic N uh, the set of uh, sequence of Borel probability measures. Um, uh, the, here, uh, uh, this is the set of finite sequence which is endowed with a product topology. 
and um, uh, the set of um, a finite length probability measure is endowed uh, as usual with direct sum topology. Uh, technical uh, uh, features which are not very crucial for uh, the result, but uh, which are convenient in some sense. Furthermore, uh, <clears throat> we consider a subset of the set of lexicographic probability system, uh, which is denoted by calligraphic L, that is the set of mutually singular lexicographic probability system. Uh, I do not provide here the formal definition of lexicographic probability, um, mutually singular lexicographic probability system. Let's say it for uh, people who are um, quite familiar with uh, probability theory. You remember, uh, they remember mutually singularity. Le uh, mutual singularity of uh, lexicographic probability system means that the, all the measures are, uh, in some sense, uh, are pairwise uh, uh, mutually singular. Other alternatively put, if this helps you, think of mutual singularity if uh, the supports uh, all of uh, all probability measure of the lexicographic probability systems are pairwise disjoint. Um, this formalizes the idea, in particular, the, um, the set of mutually singular, that uh, the set of states which are in the support of the uh, of the, um, the first measure are deemed infinitely more likely than the set of uh, um, states which are in the support of the second measure, which in turn are infinitely more likely than the set of measure, the, the set of states in the support of the third measure, and so on and so on. Okay. The aim of this paper, the contribution, is to show that uh, the set of collectively coherent, here we study, of course, uh, hierarchies uh, of uh, lexicographic probability system, the set of uh, collectively coherent hierarchies uh, can be endowed with the structure of a lexicographic type structure. Here we have a difference uh, with the standard uh, type structure. In the standard, okay, we have always a set of types for each player. But this time, uh, each type is associated not with a single probability, but with a lexicographic probability system. In particular, we will uh, uh, find uh, that uh, um, the, this uh, uh, belief map of um, here, in this case, for the, the canonical lexicographic TI is the, exactly uh, the set of uh, hierarchies. But of course, you can take also an isomorphic copy if needed. And we show that this uh, structure is universal in the sense that it is unique up to a type uh, isomorphism. In other words, uh, we will show that uh, type structure, lexicographic type structure as objects, uh, and type morphism as a morphism form a category. The universal type structure is the terminal object in the category of uh, lexicographic type structure. And also, we will show the second theorem, the existence of uh, a canonical universal lexicographic type structure with uh, beliefs, uh, lexicographic beliefs, uh, which are mutually singular. There is the belief map here, are into the set of lexicographic uh, probability system satisfying this notion of mutual singularity. Okay. The setup. I just, uh, here, since the contribution is um, rather technical, I just give you, um, the, uh, the contribution is, uh, is technical, uh, but the logic underlying the construction, uh, the construction of uh, the, the um, canonical lexicographic type structure is simple, as I summarized below. So I, will, uh, I wish to dwell on just the, the conceptual uh, uh, meaning, and uh, I will skip as far as possible the technicalities involved uh, therein. We just consider two players. Of course, the analysis can be trivially extended to more than two players. And for each player, uh, uh, we consider uh, uh, this is the set S minus I, which can be interpreted in this case as the strategy set of uh, I's opponent, is its own space of primitive uncertainty. The set of first order belief is, of course, a lexicographic beliefs on this set. We can go on, we define the second of second order beliefs, that is, uh, the set, uh, the um, lexicographic probabilities over the set of uh, uh, primitive uncertainty and the set of first order belief of player, uh, uh, of the co-players, and so on. We can define, in that way, hierarchies of uh, lexicographic probability 6 have in uh, an inductive function. Here, we 
just denote, uh, we just replace here by x, uh, i, k plus 1, all the relevant domain of uncertainty of order uh, uh, k plus 1. For instance, uh, this is uh, k, i, k plus 1 is the k plus 1 uh, space of um, domain of uncertainty of player i, which consists of the set of uh, uh, strategy profile of the opponents and the k plus 1 order beliefs uh, of, uh, K, sorry, K plus K order beliefs of the opponents here. We have an entire product set here, which is denoted by capital H zero I, which is the product of the, um, which, which denotes as a set of uh, possible infinite hierarchies of beliefs for player I. This set here is Polish, uh, uh, if we assume that the space of primitive uncertainty is Polish as well or losing if you assume uh, that it is uh, losing. Okay, here we restrict attention to a subset of uh, hierarchies of beliefs. Coherence. Coherence means basically that the, the marginal of a lexicographic probability system of order k plus one is equal to the, the, the marginal of k plus one uh, beliefs is equal to the k order beliefs. Uh, this uh, uh, reflects the idea that uh, beliefs uh, at a different order uh, do not contradict one to each other. Uh, here, uh, 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 the marginalization operation is taken point-wise in the sense that uh, suppose that we have a length of, uh, um, of, length of uh, m probability measure. You take the marginal on uh, all this length. This implies that basically uh, the, uh, this, uh, under this notion of coherence, uh, all the higher order beliefs uh, have the same length. We have the, the, first pro, the first result uh, according to this the definition of coherence. The result is the following. This, uh, the first result is the existence of a homeomorphism between the set of uh, coherent hierarchies of player I and the lexicographic probability system on the strategy set of the opponents and the hierarchies of the opponents. Hierarchies of the opponents which are not required to be uh, coherent. This uh, follows from uh, a classical theorem on stochastic processes, the Kolmogorov existence uh, theorem, which says that uh, when, you have, uh, um, uh, when you have a projective system of probability, this can be extended uniquely on the projective limit set of, uh, uh, of the product set, suppose that, uh, in a unique fashion. So, by applying Golmogorov theorem, we can uh, summarize uh, a coherent hierarchy of beliefs by one single lexicographic probability system. Okay? But this is not enough. So, we, we are able to summarize this belief by one single probability measure, which was, in the end, is the ultimate goal. But this is not enough. The problem is that, uh, this homeomorphism, this bijection, may map a coherent hierarchy here, can be mapped to the set of uncoherent hierarchies of the other players. Tell me, okay. Of the other players. So, the problem is that uh, this uh, hierarchies induce a beliefs uh, on uh, the hierarchies of the other player. But this does not necessarily imply that uh, um, uh, since the other players are not coherent, this does not necessarily imply that this beliefs implies also a beliefs uh, over the beliefs uh, over the hierarchies of the other, of a player I. So, we impose the notion of a belief in common belief of coherence. We say that uh, a player which is endowed with a, a coherent hierarchy believes an event if it puts uh, a probability, if the a limit measure, that is uh, the representation of a lexicographic probability system, uh, put uh, on the event E, probability one, every measure in uh, the uh, lexicographic probability system. Then we define uh, the set of uh, uh, hierarchies of beliefs which are consistent with common belief of incoherence uh, inductively. And the, the product set is the set, uh, uh, this product set here is the set of player hierarchy, such that each player believes that the other player co uh, hierarchy is coherent, believes that the other player uh, uh, believes that his hierarchy is coherent, and so on. Common belief in coherence closes the model in the sense that uh, each coherent hierarchy is induced all possible beliefs over his own space of primitive uncertainty and opponent hierarchies. 
the restriction of uh, this uh, homeomorphism to the set of uh, uh, coherent hierarchies consisted with common belief in coherence induce an homeomorphism, which is uh, a canonical homeomorphism. And uh, the structure, we, in the end, we obtain a structure, a lexicographic type structure here, which is defined where the set of types here is the set of uh, hierarchies of beliefs, and the belief type, uh, belief map, is the, can, uh, is, uh, the belief, uh, is the homeomorphism just described. Given a type structure, which is different from the canonical one, we can associate, as I saw, told you before, in, uh, each types, uh, we can associate each type a corresponding hierarchy of lexicographic beliefs. The first order belief, uh, here I just uh, uh, explained the, the, the first two steps. The first order belief here is just taking the marginalization operation of the lexicographic probability system. You do the same for player minus i, and then you take the push forward for the second order belief, which will map to the set of second order belief. We obtain a well-defined map here, um, and this map, this is called the hierarchy description map here, and this map is into what? The set of hierarchies of beliefs consistent with the common belief in coherence. And this map here is a type morphism in the sense that, that it preserves the hierarchies of beliefs. Of course, this map here, this type morphism, is an isomorphism uh, if the, the type structure T here is an isomorphic, copy, an isomorphic copy of the canonical type structure. And each type structure corresponds to a self-evident event, belief closed sub subspace of age, meaning that um, it is a subset, is a measurable subset in, in its own right, and the restriction of hierarchies of beliefs are, uh, are common belief among the players. We can define the second result in which uh, we define this with the mutual singularity condition. Here we do not have time, I just give you a hint, but the, the logic is always the same. We define the, the set of mutually singular hierarchies of order k, that is, we have a hierarchy that is mutually singular if, uh, at order k, if there is some k here such that the, 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 um, the k order belief is mutually singular. If uh, the hierarchy is coherent, then we have this result that uh, um, coherence, uh, mutual singularity at order k implies that uh, by coherence it's also mutually singular at order k uh, prime, for all k prime greater than k. We denote uh, the set uh, lam uh, lambda E0, the set of mutually singular hierarchy, and we show that the restriction of this induces a homomorphism between the set of mutually coherent, mutually singular hierarchy and the, the, the representation, um, the, the um, representation of the lexicographic probability system which represent this hierarchy and which are mutually singular as well. But of course, uh, we also impose the common belief in coherence just because uh, the hierarchy mutually singular is consistent with, mutually, uh, mutual, uh, uh, with the common belief in coherence. However, the induced uh, lexicographic probability system may, is uh, still mutually singular, but player I does not necessarily believe that his, his opponent's hierarchies are mutually singular as well. And exactly as before, we do the iterated definition, and we define a canonical hierarchy space, the restriction, which is consistent with mutual singularity. And we call T star U the canonical mutual singular type structure, which is, uh, as uh, before, mutual, uh, the, um, universal, not to every Mm, not to every, um, not to every uh, mutually singular type structure, but for a rich class of type structure which we call strongly mutually singular. In the end, just to rem uh, the final remark, here we generalize uh, the notion of a probabilistic type structure, this uh, here. And indeed, uh, the canonical uh, mertens amir probabilistic type structure corresponds to a belief um, closed sub uh, subspace of TU, in the sense that uh, um, the, the canonical uh, uh, type structure where players are uh, subjective aspect utility maximizer, not only they are subjective aspect utility maximizer, my, maximizers, but there is common belief of this fact can be embedded into uh, this uh, wider 
canonical uh, lexicographic uh, type structure. The universality are then used, and this is useful, uh, uh, the universality in this case of T star U, consistency with mutual singularity, are then used uh, to provide an epistemic justification in the companion paper uh, um, presented last year uh, um, um, about the epistemic justification of uh, iterated admissibility in uh, uh, finite games. I think this is enough. Thank you very much. We have time for one question. Um, okay. Since you are doing with lexicographic probabilities, no, in uh, lexicographic probabilities are related f to non-standard probabilities from one side, and it is yes. somehow what you were using, no, in your yes. representation. But also to conditional probabilities. Yes. And did you use conditional probability to get some interpretation of this approach? Yes. The mutual singularity can be viewed as a sort of a conditional probabilities. Um, and indeed, uh, there is a way to map this notion of um, this mutual singular lexicographic probability to, to, to so-called conditional probability systems, which are, uh, um, which are an alternative way of uh, uh, dealing with conditional probability in accessing from games. Sincerely, I didn't, um, so far, I didn't uh, explore this issue just because, of course, the notion of uh, mutual singular uh, is uh, well suited for dealing with the, uh, the notion of infinitely more likely events, you know. Uh, you evaluate, uh, um, you rank a strategy according to their degree uh, of, um, of what you believe they are infinitely more likely than not. I don't know precisely, uh, here the, 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 the contribution is only for finite games and simultaneous small games, right? I don't know how the, this could be translated, but there is still, for instance, there is an isomorphism. If you consider finite, uh, the, here we, we have infinite state space, right? Because you deal with them. But if you consider finite, there is an isomorphism between them, from, between mutually singular and the conditional probability. Is a probabilities are probabilities and, uh, and hyperreal valid probabilities are, are, are isomorphic. isomorphic. If, if the state space is finite, for sure. For sure. But there is, uh, I guess, some maps. Of course, you need to, you need to impose some conditions. Uh, uh, to create a map between uh, conditional probability or not, because conditional probability are defined on some set of conditioning events, and so you need to impose some extra condition, uh, extra condition on this, this set of events to, uh, to have a well-defined map. Here we do not have, let's say, conditioning events, so, so to create this map, uh, you should be able to, to provide this.